It is the American Thanksgiving edition of Bobby Bottle's NFL Power Rankings. It was another tough week for your Power Rankings, Bobby. I mean, the Titans lose to the Texans after they were red hot and they kept moving up. The Bills got demolished against the Colts. And the Chiefs, who you've left off the Power Rankings for a few weeks now, win convincingly again. So let's start right there. Are the Chiefs back in the Power Rankings? Why don't you tell us? They are. You know what? What a year to start doing this. This has to be the hardest year because outside of the top three, I don't think there's any really good teams. I think there's just a bunch of like potential, to be honest with you. I think there's good teams. There's no exceptional teams. Yeah, so I think the top three are kind of in a class, although they can be beat. Um, yeah, it's just we'll, we'll see by my power rankings that you know there will be a lot of debate, I think, after – the one, two, three. So normally I go 10 to one. I'm going to go one, two, three, just to start off. Arizona, the Rams, Tampa sitting one, two, three. No movement there. Uh, Arizona, big win with basically Colt McCoy outplaying Russell Wilson. Uh, the Rams were on a bye and, uh, or no, the Rams on a bye this week? Yep, they were. They were. And Tampa convincing Monday night win. Um, number four, this is where it got a little interesting. I kept Green Bay just because I think they have the highest ceiling. And that was a really tough spot against Minnesota. I actually had Minnesota on the money line. So, um, you know, it's a week-to-week sport. So I'm still going to leave Green Bay at four. Big shock here. New England comes in at number five. The number five team in the league. And also, if you haven't noticed by now, the top AFC team in this power ranking. Six, I have Baltimore. Impressive win without Ty, uh, Lamar Jackson. Uh, seven, Dallas. Slight downgrade after the tough loss. Everything went wrong in KC, and yet they still were within striking distance. Eight, the Buffalo Bills drop all the way from five to eight after another gut-wrenching loss. Number nine, the Kansas City Chiefs find their way back into the top ten. I don't know if they fixed their problems, but... They're at number nine. And number 10 was really a toss-up. I left the Chargers in there since I had them in there last week. And they uh, really, really close win against your Steelers, actually, Joe. But uh, they got the job done. I don't trust them at all. So they're at the 10 spot. All right. I'm, I want to start it with the AFC East. Because you've got the Patriots above the Bills. And they are in first place right now. So who mm. can argue that? I mean, what is going on in Buffalo? We live close to Buffalo. There's a lot of Bills fans around here, Bills Mafia. There were so many hopes going into this season, and it looks like everything's kind of gone off the rails over there. They don't look like an elite team at all the last couple weeks. And if you go down their schedule, like, let's, let, let me just run down the teams that they've defeated. They've beat the Dolphins twice, the Jets, the Texans, the Washington football team, and the Chiefs. Okay, good team there. And then they've lost to the Steelers, the Titans, the Jags, and now Indy. Something ain't right there. Yeah, I agree. I I, I don't watch enough Buffalo games, but don't they kind of have the highest ceiling in the AFC? Like if you say good offense, Buffalo, good defense, Buffalo, uh, well coached Buffalo, yet they're losing a lot of games that have made me lose confidence in them. I. I can't see them as a top five team anymore. I think New England is is the more dangerous team, given the fact that they had all these opt outs last year and they still went seven and nine. They have the best coach in the division. They have the perfect quarterback for them. They have a really good defense. They've got a decent offense. They haven't beaten a ton of good teams, but they're starting to show that they could be the best team in the AFC. It just sucks for other fans who have waited so long for the inevitable downfall of the new England Patriots yeah. for them to only have one bad season. And now they're back up top again, uh, Boston sport teams. I think they, they still, I, I, I don't know about you guys. I still have question marks with them. Like I want to see they have beaten Cleveland now and they, they had a, who did they beat this week? I'm trying to remember. They had a, a Thursday night game, I believe against somebody they smacked them. Atlanta. Atlanta. So that doesn't really count, but you know, they did beat up on Cleveland. I, I just want to see them beat a few more good teams. But right now, it'd be hard to argue they're not the best team. Although I'm sure KC fans will come along and say 
they might be the best team in the AFC. They're def- I, like you talk about high ceiling. I I mean, you got to put the Chiefs up there in the AFC, right? They've got I, the best quarterback. Yeah, you know what? You know what's funny? I watched the game against Dallas, and Dallas looked discombobulated. KC was had more energy, more bounces, outplayed them. Um, they basically did everything right, and yet it's the fourth quarter, and it's a ten point game. You know, two years ago, KC wins that game by thirty, and now they're only winning it by those games by seven to 10 points. They should have smoked them. I watched the first, you know, two quarters and I'm like, man, this, this didn't even feel like a close game. And yet Dallas was still right there. So I don't know if that's a testament, a testament to Dallas as you know, how good of a roster they can be, or if it's something wrong with Kansas city. Frank, you got any uh, observations on Bobby's power rankings? Uh, I, I, it's funny how we were laughing a couple weeks ago about New England, and I'm pretty sure Bobby said there's no way they're ever going to be in this in this ranking. Just flat out shook his head. Now they're like top five. It's amazing how things change in a couple weeks. I'm just curious, Rob, can you ever see Indy in your top ten? They're creeping closer. Um, you know, I full disclosure, I picked them to win the AFC South, and I lost a lot of confidence in them after that horrid start in Tennessee got off after that flying start. They are creeping closer. I mean, you look at them, they've got probably the best O-line in the league, if not the best one of the best. Um, good running back, obviously. Decent wide receivers. Carson Wentz is just mentally as weak a quarterback as there is in the NFL. He's been so much better, though. He has been, and, and I'll give him credit. But I mean, when I say that, compared to what he was last year, right? Which was Yeah, but terrible. he's not. he's still not a top-10 quarterback, and I don't – it's just too inconsistent for me, but they do have a good defense. I mean, I love Darius Leonard. Uh, Indy, I thought Indy was going to run away with that division, to be honest. Um, I thought they were right there. I, it hurt taking Tennessee out because Tennessee has deserved to be in this top 10. I know that was a, b- a bad loss against Houston, but that was such a bad spot for them. I, any, I feel bad for anybody that took them in Survivor. That was just such a I, – I would have stayed away from that game. I, I'm also going to take Indy over – Tampa Bay this week, so that's kind of my upset pick. Okay. No bias, no bias. I could totally see that happening, though. It's been a crazy year, and that's the thing. You move teams up on the list, and then then the next week they don't even look even half of what they look like the year the, the week before. Sorry, so that's football. This is why I don't bet football anymore. It's so difficult. I Just think, when you think you got a team yeah. figured out, they go and lose to the Jags or the Texans. It's crazy. I think there was one more team that deserves an honorable mention. And I have banged on them forever. But the Minnesota Vikings, I think, are a lot better than we want to give them credit for. They have been in, I think every one of their games have been within seven points. I, I don't know if they've lost a game by more than seven and won a game by more than seven to ten. But they don't and, end up winning. That matters. Yeah, like, and they don't, yes. But st- statistically, they were actually the better team versus Green Bay going into that game, which is, it sounds outrageous because they're four and five and Green Bay's eight and two, but... And it's also why Kirk Cousins doesn't play primetime games because <laughs> he can't win. And he's actually, you know, <laughs> he's had a really good season, but we don't think of Kirk that way. So, but I think they're kind of in that them, Indy, Tennessee. There's a little group of just knocking on the door waiting to get in. You like that, Rob? You like that? I, I can't stand that. <laughs> I can't stand it. All right. Happy Thanksgiving to all our American followers and listeners. Gobble, gobble. Enjoy.